Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to configure Office 365 shared mailboxes on Apple's iOS. iPhone and iPad users generally default to using Apple's built-in mail app on their iOS devices. Microsoft Office 365 users have generally found this to work fairly well. That was until October 2022. That's because October 2022 saw Microsoft phase out an old protocol that allowed us to configure access to shared mailboxes from Apple's mail app. This protocol is called IMAP. It's been around since just after the beginning of time. We used to use it to log into Microsoft's Exchange system in a quirky way that allowed us to access shared mailboxes from Apple's mail app. Now that Microsoft have retired this protocol, we're unable to connect Apple Mail to shared mailboxes because Apple's mail app doesn't currently support them. We'll need to find another way to access shared mailboxes. Microsoft have a free app available in the App Store called Outlook. Most Office 365 users will be familiar with this name. It's a program more often found on business desktop computers and laptops. Installing Microsoft's Outlook app on iOS gives us some options, although there are some caveats that we'll come to later. Once installed onto the, the iPhone or iPad, Outlook will allow the user to connect to 365 using Microsoft's ActiveSync protocol. Signing in using Microsoft's modern authentication mechanism, users can easily access their mailbox. Also, and quite importantly, two-factor authentication is supported. This is massively important and we'll cover why in a different video. If you're not already using two-factor or multi-factor authentication, then watch out for our video on that one. Let's walk through the setup process. First, we're going to go into Apple's App Store on iOS and download the Microsoft Outlook app. Next, let's fire it up and sign in. We'll use the user's email address and their Microsoft 365 password, and then authenticate with their two-factor or multi-factor authentication method. Once we've signed in, we'll begin to see all their recent email download into the app. The power of Microsoft's Outlook app becomes much more obvious once we understand that the user's profile icon in the top left corner of the screen is actually a button. Tapping this button reveals a menu. From here, we can find all usual system folders and any subfolders that the user may have created. In the leftmost bar on the screen you'll notice an envelope icon with a plus sign on it. This is the key to accessing shared mailboxes. Tapping this icon will produce a menu which has an option called Add Shared Mailbox. Tap this, and then enter the primary email address of the shared mailbox that you wish to add. Once you've added the mailbox, you'll be able to switch in and out of it by tapping the profile icon in the top left corner of the screen. Also, once you've added your shared mailbox, you'll find that you can use this to send emails. Obviously, you must have been granted permission to do this first. To send an email from a shared mailbox, navigate to the regular inbox view. Tap the plus symbol icon towards the bottom of the screen. This opens up the dialog box for sending a new email. Notice the email address at the very top of the screen. Tap this email address and you'll be given a list of all of the mailboxes that you have permission to send mail from. Simply tap the one you wish to send your email from. Then compose the email as usual. Another feature to note is the calendar icon in the bottom bar of the app. This will allow you to view your calendar. Having tapped on calendar, you'll be able to tap the icon in the top left corner of the screen to select the calendars you wish to see. This will include the calendar of any shared mailboxes that you may have added. So, all this is great, but there's a couple of caveats here. Many users prefer to use Apple's built-in iOS calendar app on their iPhone or iPad. Also, they expect to see their Microsoft 365 contacts within their iOS contacts app. To make this happen, we're going to go back to the built-in iOS mail app settings. So, go into the main iOS settings app. Find the mail section and go to the settings for the Microsoft 365 account. If you don't see the user's 365 account here, then add it. However, to avoid confusion, we'll configure the options so that only the calendar and the contacts are turned on. This way, the user will not be confused with two apps to access their mail. My advice would be to remove the mail app from the bottom bar of the home screen and replace it with the Outlook app. This way, the user will find it more natural to use. They can access everything they need from the Outlook app, but they'll also have their own calendar in their iOS calendar app, and they'll have their contacts in their iOS contacts app. 
This is extremely important as they'll need this working in order to find people when making telephone calls. So, there you have it. Shared mailboxes, contacts and calendars all working with a Microsoft 365 account on Apple iOS. Now, if you've made it this far, then I'm guessing you like this video. We have lots more content just like this, so, if this is your thing, please click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to make sure you're notified when we upload something new. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.